I don't know how how all this adds up. I do videos. I do videos about how hand traps are expensive and should be reprinted. So they were printing them in Legendary Collection Kaiba. But before that, Konami commentators were talking about me on the YCS Bochum livestream. But before that, Relinquished supports and Thousand Eye support comes out and that's my favorite monster. But what does that have to do with beans coming alive in my house? Well, nothing except for I had to break the circuit to get rid of them. So, but before that, I made Lord of D and Lady of D jokes, and now there's going to be a King of D. I don't know what that has to do with anything. That doesn't make any sense at all. But before all of that, before all of that, I made fun of Larvae Moth so much that they announced support for it. But how does one, how does one lead to the other? None of this makes any sense. How does all this come together? I don't know. Oh, I need some water. Guess who's home? Whoa, whoa, you were gone this whole time? Yeah, but you're gonna wanna sit down. I got some stuff to tell you. Okay, we can sit down, I guess. <sighs> All right. <sighs> We're sitting. Okay, so the story begins a couple of years ago when I decided to go on vacation. You take vacations? Yes, now listen. So I was at this bus station when I realized that I bought the wrong ticket, so I swapped tickets with a guy that kind of looked like me who bought the right ticket. But it turns out that I had the correct ticket the whole time because I wanted to go to the Forbidden Realm. Wait a minute, you wanted to go there? Oh yeah, that's where my creator lives, Dr. Kazaki. Dr. Kazaki's your dad? Where else did you think I came from? I was just a normal Karibo until I got changed for the better. The worst. Anyway, so that's why I've had this disguise on the whole time, but I finally got caught, and that's where I've been. There was a trial and everything. What was the verdict? Well, guilty, of course. I admitted to it. But then I told them that you were my owner, so they couldn't do anything about it. I'm not your owner. You just won't leave. Pet, squatter, same thing. Whoa, wait a minute now. If you're responsible for St. Gans' demise, that means it gets tied back to me. That means everything gets tied back to me. Eugene, why did you use your powers to teleport if you're only going to feel like Come on, wake up! Eugene! That dude is the deepest sleeper? <sighs> okay, so if he is behind the demise of Sangan, what does that have to do with Larvae Moth? And what does Larvae Moth have to do with reprints? Or anything? What, what does all of this mean? What does any of this mean? <sighs> hey, Dad! Are you there? Hey, what's up, kiddo? Hey, Aunt Slifer. Um, I was actually kind of wanting to talk to Dad. Well, he's not here right now, but maybe I can help. Well, I'm just kind of lost and confused. Um, okay, I'm not good at this stuff like your dad is, so I'm just gonna tell you straight. The answer is Soul Charge. You need to find Soul Charge. Fair enough. No. Here it is. But what does it mean? And then I'll attack your life points directly. It means that it's time. Yogi, no, no. Temporary, I'll let you back out after I'm done. Dad, Dad? I think I put too much 
Cyber Dragon in it. We can always make another ultimate deck later. I like the way you think. All right, you guys, so I have finally done it. I have created the ultimate monster. And since I have created the ultimate monster, I had to build the ultimate deck around it. You guys, you guys, I have completely and perfectly, if you get the pun, I have perfectly combined Larvae Moth with Cyber Dragon, creating Cyber Larva, and not only creating Cyber Larva, the most ultimate and most powerful monster in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but I have made it to where it is part of a functioning deck but not just any functioning deck guys i made it a part of the most powerful deck in Yu-Gi-Oh history as you can see you guys are blown away right now completely and utterly you're like how did i not think of this deck list card for card and i have to agree with you i don't know how you guys didn't think of this i don't know how all these pro players and stuff out there you know claim to be pro and stuff and then they haven't thought of this deck no idea guys no idea but i'm here i got gotcha. you i got gotcha. you okay but the real reason why i'm making this video though guys is not just to combine a card i'm known for or like a meme that I'm known for with the deck that I'm known for. Um, that is part of the point. I mean, it, it was fun to make this deck. Don't get me wrong. But um, the real point here is that we have Cybernetic Horizon just around the corner. It's the set after Flames of Destruction. And I want to see just how much Konami does watch my channel. I want to see um, if we can get some Cyber Larva support. If this video blows up enough and we get enough love for this card and enough, um, you know, just support for this card, Konami might make some support themselves. We'll have to see what happens. And that is the real reason behind making this video. And I I don't think I need to really go over this deck profile. I think it really speaks for itself. Just all I basically did was combine the raw, sheer, amazing power of Larvae Moth with the trolliness and memeiness of Cyber Dragons. Or maybe the other way around. Either way, that is what I did here. And if you add a side deck to this, um, it's actually just going to make the deck worse. This deck is so powerful that it doesn't even need a side deck. Actually, you know what? Enough chit-chat. Let's go ahead and duel with this bad boy. Let's go ahead and stomp some noobs. Um, So what name should we pick? What's the opposite of Yugi No-No? What did we do last time? We did... Uh, we did... Yugi yes yes or we did Yugi sometimes sometimes we did Yugi maybe maybe and stuff we're gonna be Kaiba yes yes <laughs> oh, gosh I don't know why I haven't thought of that before Kaiba yes yes okay so um let's go ahead and do a single duel no one's gonna last a full match against us they're gonna scoop they're gonna instantly scoop so master rule four or duh all right incognito as Kaiba yes yes all right so let's wait to see all right a hall 53 all right you're going down you're going down, dude. And this wants to lose. Oh, it, it, this this deck works by by luring you into a false sense of security and then pouncing on you and stomping your brains in. That is how this deck works. So um, he is playing a 60 card deck. Oh man, he just puts himself at a huge disadvantage. Andy, he negged himself nine right there. Oh my gosh, guys! Not only was this guy playing a 60 card deck, but he just negged himself nine with that pot of desires. Uh, but it's okay though. It's okay because I run my own desires. So um, if I neg myself nine back, it'll make it. It'll make it fair for him, you know. Uh, so uh, he, oh wow! So he's playing Raiden. So Raiden Mills. Oh my gosh! See that that terrible mill off of that Raiden. That's what you get when you play. That's what you get when you play against this. Oh, and then he mills his Ash. Oh, this deck is so powerful. Oh my gosh! This is oh that is it. He ends with the Raiden on board. That is all. Wow, and I can Wild Monster appears into Cyber Elton and oh that is broken. But let's go ahead and neg ourselves nine real quick. Uh, make it fair because you know he negged himself nine so uh, and, you know I, and I'm a good sport oh but he is not a good sport wow wow I was just trying to be fair I was just trying to be fair dude okay all right this guy wants me to stomp him did you see that he wants me to stomp him he wants to lose right here boom right here this activates clears his board I'm gonna attack for zero wow that's it he takes uh, negative zero damage all right and then he's got the damage juggler in grave who cares? I mean, he's got four cards. I got four cards. Uh, solitaire, uh, no one cares. You know what? Matter of fact, I might just take a nap because turns these days just take so long. All right, so he goes into Unizombie. He's probably going to send Mizuki. Duh, why wouldn't he send Mizuki? Man, this opponent, though, I don't know how I feel about this opponent. I feel like he's kind of a sore loser already. He knows what I'm playing. He sees he sees the, the wild monster appears. He knows I'm playing Larvae Moth. And, you know, you saw that. He ashed my desires. He, he ashed my attempt to get even, you know, in card advantage to him. Oh, it's just, uh, man, it's terrible. It's terrible, you know, what poor sports uh, Yu-Gi-Oh players could be this, these days. It just, it's really, it's really sad and uh, really upsets me. So go ahead and mill. Come on. Would you mill? Uh, bad mills again. A bad mills again. Too bad for you. Too bad for you. All right. So, Gozuki. 
Um, Gozuki banishes, come on. Gets Mizuki on board, passes battle phase, and then, all right, all right. So, oh, busted. Okay, so what are we, we going to do? So let's go ahead and Desires. Let's actually get even on card advantage with him now. So, yeah, there we go. Did we banish our uh, Cyber Larva? Um, surely we didn't. Uh, yeah, surely we didn't. That's what I thought. This deck is so powerful. Even though I've banished 20 cards, I still have a machine duplication target because ugh, I'm just that good. I'm just that good. So um, we're going to summon this. All right. And then we're going to activate. And then we're going to get our target out of the deck. Just like so. Ender battle. Let's swing over the Minerva. Because, you know, going into Cleaford Genius, uh, it, w it wouldn't really get us anywhere. Just have 1,800 attack on board wasn't enough to get over the Minerva. So um, I guess it could have kaiju but I'm not going to kaiju unless I have a Cyber Dragon. And uh, we didn't banish all of the Cyber Dragons. There's still Cyber Dragons in deck, so there's targets, forges, a cure to go into Chimera Tech. So um, what we're going to do is just simply pass and sit on Dolhan. Let's see what he's got. I am up on card advantage, guys. I am so far, he's got four cards. I got four cards. Come on, do something. Oh, we banished is his whole hands though <laughs> what turn? yeah we're not gonna activate anything so uh, he goes into that so let's see what he what he add what is he gonna add so oh he's probably gonna add grass yeah there we go so uh so he's probably gonna activate grass mill a bunch of cards he's oh gosh man all right come on bring it bring it dude hopefully you get some better mills than you've been getting you're gonna need them you're gonna need them so he goes into double wolf. That's what he milled off of that. That's actually two pretty good mills. I feel like Goldilocks is about to be eaten by bears, but with wolves, something like that. Is he gonna slap the lightning on top? Are you gonna slap the lightning? Am I gonna feel the thunder? I am. All right, dude. There we go. Finally, man. Uh, YGO Pro is taking forever. Finally, he killed my monster. Or maybe he, he maybe he's like cautious. He's like, man, if I destroy one of his monsters, he's gonna get really mad. He's going to come at me. You know what? That's probably what he's thinking, to be honest. I, I know I would. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to slap. I, what, what do I want to do? You know what? I think that might be the best move, um, except we're going to need to get over that 2100. So I don't really want to go into uh, Cleefor Genius because it's only 18. We're going to use three monsters, go into Chimera Tech, and that's how we're going to get over that 2100. Um, so go ahead and search off of Cyber Repair Plants. Thin our deck a little bit. I know there's a target in there. We play plenty of light machines. Um, I think we got rid of all of our galaxy soldiers though, which does suck. Um, the chances of that are pretty low. Oh no, but he's got snow. I didn't catch that he milled snow. Woo I'm gonna get wrecked, boys. I did not catch that snow mill at all. That's what I get. Oh, man, if this deck loses, it's because of the pilots, not the deck, guys. It's because of the pilot. That was my bad. That was my bad. So he has to get past our zero defense, guys. But let's see if he's ballsy enough to do it. Because I know for a fact that if I was, you know, facing, if I was facing Larvae Moth, if I was staring down, you know, that, that Larvae Moth shotgun barrel, you know, so to speak, I know I would be scared. I'd be shaking in my boots. So he might not swing for game. He might not. Seriously, guys, I'm not making this up. He might not swing for game. I just lost. All right. Well, um, that was a fluke. So, uh, yeah, I didn't catch the snow. So we'll call that a fluke one. Okay. Uh, that's actually technically Larvae fluke one. Okay. So my bad, guys. I missed the snow mill. Uh, that was completely, completely my fault. So, uh, Kaiba, yes, yes, seemed to work, though, because he didn't pick up on who I was. So, uh, we'll stick with the Kaiba, yes, yes, nickname. My bad, guys, for the fluke. Let's get a real duel in now. That was just practice. No one is accepting. No one. Everyone is scared. Are you, are you? Okay, there we go. There we go. I was, like, about to say everyone is scared to duel me. Come on, I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just getting warmed up. All right, so, oh, oh, we're going to pick to go seconds. All right, so he's playing more than 40 cards too. Bad, dude, bad choice. We drew Larvae Moth and Cyber Larva. This is game, guys. This is game right here. I have game in hands. That's all I need, those two cards. Like I said, like I said earlier. Oh, we're, and he's playing stuff that's not even out yet. Oh, man. Oh, this poor, you poor bastard. You're, you're playing stuff that's, that's not even tried and proven in the TCG against me? What? He's playing stuff that is not even tried and proven in our TCG metagame against the tier negative one deck of the format. Wow. I feel this guy doesn't know what is coming for him. I feel so bad for him. Um, the thing is, though, he's taking like five years, so I'm probably just going to take a nap really quick until he builds a board I can break. Finally, dude. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So what do we got here? Um, it doesn't matter because this deck's going to win. Okay. Um, what, 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 what does this even do? What, what, what kind of effect is question mark? 
What is wrong with this thing? Okay, I know I don't like that card. Uh, what, what, is, what, that, that's another question mark. What does that do? What am I, you know what? It doesn't matter that I don't know what I'm playing against. It seriously doesn't matter because this deck will overcome, guys. This deck will seriously overcome. So, um, what do, the question is right now, what do I want to Jizakiru over? Um, I'm gonna go easy on him, probably not summon the Cyber Larva because that'd be way too broken. Um, let's go ahead and get his, um, let's get his Link Monster. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. So his Link Monster's gone. Bye bye. Now let's uh, normal summon core. Oh, he strikes the summon of Jizakiru. Really? I was giving you a 3300 monster to try to make it fair, dude. See, this is what I'm saying. The, the, the sorry state, you know, of uh, and, and the, the sorry state of the sportsmanship in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, wow. I was just trying to help this guy out, you know, give him a 3300 monster. He just wasn't having it, guys. It's very, very sad. Machine dupe. Oh my gosh. All right, so um, then we can go. The thing is, do I want to go? I do want to do that, except for I want to get as much damage in as possible first. So let's, how can I How can I get as much damage in as possible? Okay, so let's go into uh, Cleefort Genius. Let's go into that using our two guys here. So go into Clee Genius. Cool. Um, let's search another machine monster. Let's get another Cyber Larva Engrave, because it's only fair. It's only fair, because like if I'm out of machine duplication targets, it makes it completely fair for him, you know, to have a chance to win. Um, and I'm just like, I'm just that kind of Yu-Gi-Oh player. I'm just a really nice guy, you know, just trying to help him out here. Um, so let's go into Nova. And from here, I can go into Pleiades if I wanted to bounce his monster. But I think to get more damage in, what I want to do is go ahead and save my uh, my Galaxy Soldier in hand. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and uh, activate. I, I literally don't even care to activate Cleefort Genius's effect. Don't even care. And then activate exactly, exactly 4,200 for game. <laughs> Told you guys. Told you. That poor guy, this is the tier negative one deck of the TCG, and he is playing against me using something that's not even tried and tested in the OCG. I don't think it's tried and tested yet in the OCG. Poor guy, poor guy, just got raffle stomped. I didn't even summon Larvae Moth. Guys, I didn't even need to summon Larvae Moth. That's how broken that was. All right, so next one, next one. Uh, let's see if I can just hop into another room here. That'd be really sweet. Ah, oh, awesome. Oh, rock, rock. Oh, we fist bumped. Okay, let's go ahead and try to scissor. <laughs> All right, uh, let's high five. No, he didn't want to high five me. See, once again, sorry state of the sportsmanship in Yu-Gi-Oh. Man, he did not agree to the high five. Okay, I'm going to go second. Duh. All right. Oh, Drew Larvae Moth. Wow, this guy is doomed. He is doomed. I don't believe in ashing the terraforming. I think it's a, it should be a banned move in Yu-Gi-Oh. It should be in the rule book. It's too, it's too broken. I won that last one by taking a nap. Let's go ahead and take another nap. You, you, you end with a light stage? You end with a light stage and a licorice? You poor bastard. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Um, how do I even want to start? Here's the thing. It's like, how do I want to beat him? I'm trying to decide how I want to win. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's, let's kaiju that. Why not? Effect Veiler on core? You know what? That would be bad news if I had the machine duplication, but it just goes to show how bad of a player this guy is, guys. I didn't even have the machine duplication, and he Veilered. Ugh, he Veilered. That is bad. That is bad. All right. Let's go ahead and draw two. I'm sorry. Neg nine. My bad. Oh my gosh! Another poor sport! Another terrible sport, guys. This is so sad. It's so sad these days, guys, when, you know, you can't even enjoy a regular Yu-Gi-Oh match without people getting mad. Did he just, he had an answer for everything. He had, he, he just dropped three hand traps. He had, he had Baylor, he had Baylor, no, he had Baylor, Ash, and, and Ogre. He had Baylor, Ash, and Ogre. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Oh man, too bad, too bad Larvae Moth isn't, isn't a hand trap. Uh, if it was, man, it'd be, it'd be, I mean, the thing is, if Larvae Moth was a hand trap, it would be so strong that it would not only be on the ban list, but it would be on the FBI's most wanted list. That is how powerful Larvae Moth would be. Look at that, another Larvae Moth. You can't beat this deck, guys. Can't beat it. He, he goes, he goes, he goes reincarnation, but I just draw another Larvae Moth. This is the worst trick star player I've ever, I've ever seen. Uh, by far, by far. No monsters can be special summoned except for light monsters. Half of this deck is light. Oh, oh, this guy is a good player. Ooh, this guy is way better than I thought. I take that back. He goes in the barrier statue of the heavens. I have wild monster appears, but I can't summon my larvae moth. Oh, he surrendered though. <laughs> what? 
He knew, he knew he was about to get that evenly matched. Oh, he scooped. That is victory number two. Victory number two. I don't even need to save, man. I don't even need to save. I only need to save the flukes. I only need to save the flukes as research, you know, for research purposes. Strickland propane. All right. Paper. All right, so this guy wants to high five. All right, let's see if he wants to scissor. Oh, see if he wants to bump fist. No, he doesn't want to bump fist. Mm. Too bad, too bad. We're almost best friends there. Almost best friends. Oh, I'm going first? What? What? Okay. I mean, I've been letting everyone go first just to be nice, but uh, this guy, this guy has a death wish. He has a death wish. All right, let's go ahead and nice. Drew a second larvae moth, broken, busted. Oh, we're not seeing our cyber larvas though. If we're seeing, if I saw a cyber larva, man, it'd be way too broken. So let's go ahead and pass and, um, you know what? I'm probably just gonna take a nap because he's gonna have a really, really, oh wait, Yugi no. <laughs> He knows who I am. You caught me. I'm being for real. You caught me. <laughs> you made like the shock face like. <gasps> <laughs> You're gonna be in a video. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Sweet. <laughs> he just says sweet. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope you're not lying. You know what? I'm not lying, dude. You're, I'm, I'm not lying. You are dueling the real Kaiba. Yes, yes. All jokes aside, though, guys, this was a super fun video to make. This was a super fun deck to build. I mean, being able to combine, you know, a, a meme that I'm known for with, a, you know, a deck that I'm known for. I don't know how I came up with this. <laughs> I, mean, I was seriously inspired by you guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, someone commented this card a very long time ago, and everything has been building up in my head to go around that, and I just want to shout out, um, you know, everyone, you know, anyone else that thought of this and stuff like it's just it's so funny i just want to shout all of you guys out thank you all so much for watching this this was so much fun to do once again um if you guys want if you guys want 10 percent off of any mat from metamats.com then be sure to enter in the code eugene versus jesus and you will get 10 percent off i'm not even kidding once again though guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video until next time though i'm going to be um taking care of my child so i don't have to pay child support